42,000 students. 95% of them commute. How did we integrate the Chevrolet store onto the FIU campus? My name is Jose Nunez. My name is Juan Sombrano. And I'm Michael Perez. And we're the Integrated Marketing Campaign Team from Florida International University. This great, campaign, this great campaign started off when we contacted our great friend, Natalie De Leon, Chevrolet Liaison, and Adventure Partners employees. After pitch, pitching the organizations in hopes of receiving sponsorships, she, she directed us to, towards District Manager Joe Rutsky. Joe Rutsky saw this as an opportunity not only to fund our chapter, but to expose his organization. Thus, he funded, he funded us $3,000 to create an integrated marketing campaign um, to expose uh, his organization and raise brand awareness. All right, so what did Joe Rutsky want from us? Joe Rutsky wanted three things. He wanted us to integrate the Chevrolet message into campus. He wanted us to focus on three cars, the Camaro, the Equinox, and the Cruze. And most importantly, he wanted, us to tell, he wanted us to tell the Chevrolet story to the students. With that, we created a SWOT analysis to begin our research of the FIU campus. As you can see, some of our strengths were a very large university with over 42,000 students enrolled in the fall of 2010. And as Juan mentioned in our intro, where 95% of them commute to school each and every day. So they're driving. Uh, some weaknesses, we are dealing with what Joe Rudsky wanted as a target client, Generation Y, ages 18 to 25 students. Um, so that's student income is very low. They're obviously more focused on paying their tuition than looking to buy a new car. Some opportunities, we're from Miami, a very style-driven market. So it's all about what you drive, where you drive, you know, who's in the car. And of course, we saw rising gas prices as an opportunity at the time to educate Generation Y on some of the greener cars Chevy has to offer. And some of the threats was that we found through our research Chevrolet had a low brand perception across the campus and a negative perception across the age group in general. So how do we conduct the research? Through surveys. The surveys, we pretty much targeted every single possible outlet we could think of, which was online, social media, in class, high traffic areas on campus, and then of course at our two events, which you'll see a little later. Uh, we actually were pretty pleased with the results because it wasn't biased as far as gender. Um, you know, lean, more males leaning to driving cars, it was, as you see, pretty accurate. And then some highlights from it, 13% perceived the Chevrolet brand as excellent. And actually what we chose to make the central idea for this campaign, what we said we were going to change by the end of this, was the fact that 50% had not seen the Chevrolet brand promoted on FIU. And with that we created a campaign strategy. And this is where that theme, that question you're going to see throughout our presentation, where would you take your Chevrolet comes into play? It's a very personalized theme. Now the great thing about this question is I ask you where would you take your Chevrolet and without giving me an answer, you thought of an answer. And you thought about going somewhere in the Chevrolet, even if it was just for a second, even if your perception was bad about Chevrolet. You hate Chevrolet, you drive a Chevrolet. You thought of an answer and you thought about it in the Chevrolet, which makes it important. Then we decided to target it even further to Generation Y, the students, and how the students can use the cars. So with the cruise, we saw it as the perfect, let's go out of town, Miami, you know, let's go down to the South Beach. And so we decorated inside with disco, little lights, you know, get them feeling all excited about that kind of car. The Camaro, who wouldn't want to show up to Miami Beach in that beauty. So we had a little hula girl on the dashboard. Hula gear from rearview mirrors, side mirrors. That was beach balls in the back, so we're all ready for the beach. And then the Equinox, we actually saw it as the perfect, not family car, which was Chevy, you might think, for Generation Y, it's the perfect kind of car for a road trip or a tailgate. So one of our example promotional items is this checklist we made, where we have your space for roommates, your awesome set of wheels, and your Panther Pride, which of course equals the Chevrolet Equinox. And then to track our campaign effectiveness, those surveys, like I mentioned before in the last slide, we were given out at our two main events, which you'll see in a second, to track the effectiveness. Coming into this campaign, we were really fortunate to have to actually implement this campaign for a Fortune 500 company. However, we felt that our members needed an input in this project. We felt that this was a great opportunity to have what they learned in classroom and to implement it in real life projects, or as one of the FBLA goals, facilitate the transition from school to work. This led to the opening up of three committees, each one chaired by us three. Um, the Advertisement, Campaign Planning, and the Public Relations Committee. Our main focus when coming, when coming into this project was to create this hype, this excitement, this enthusiasm within the FIU student body, which will lead to having them come to our event, which Juan will explain later on. To do this, we would take advantage of the opportunities and the resources on campus. We noticed that there was about 40,000 students with close to 20,000 parking spaces. 
a great demand for parking spaces. This led to the partnering up with the parking and transportation. They, they gave us two faculty parking tickets, which we used in a social media campaign to hype up the students to come to our main event where we raffled off these tickets. Additionally, we ordered personalized marketing material, such as the noise clappers, the whistleblowers, the personalized stickers, and of course, the most popular one, the where would you take your Chevrolet? All right, so our three, uh, our three teams were ready. Advertisement, campaign implementation, and the public relations. FIU was ready, Chevrolet was ready, and we were ready. We decided to not do only one event, we decided to break this into two events. It's gonna be our pre-game tailgate event, and it was gonna be our main event. Let's talk about the pre-game tailgate, pre tailgate event. It happened at a homecoming game where thousands of FIU fans were having fun alongside the Chevrolet brand. We, brought, we had a live DJ uh, putting music for four hours. We promoted some, we distributed some promotional materials such as the shirt that Jose mentioned. And most importantly, we also distributed surveys. All right, our main event was a complete success. It happened at the core of FIU, at FIU's main plaza. We uh, actually brought the three cars, the Camaro, the Equinox, and the Cruz, so students can actually have a feel for the car. Not only the cars, we, also, we actually brought three product specialists. So if a student had a particular question about the car, they could answer the question. We gave them brochures, food, we also had music, and it was a complete success. We handed surveys and we collected over 800 surveys. Now taking a look at some results. This goes to brand perception. The bars to the left represent pre-campaign, while the bars to the right represent post-campaign. Pre-campaign, if you look the bar all the way to the left, that's that little 13% I mentioned of Generation Y that had seen the brand as excellent. After that campaign, that bar, if you look at post-campaign, almost a, more than doubles to a little over 30% of a Generation Y that saw Chevrolet as an excellent brand. So how are we going to rate our return investment? How are we going to measure the success of our campaign? We, we wanted to know how, uh, how many students were willing and able to purchase a Chevrolet vehicle. Before our campaign, we noticed that only 12% of the students were willing and able to purchase a Chevrolet vehicle within the next few school year. After our campaign, after our successful campaign, we noticed that more than 30% of the students rated a very likely as far as uh, purchasing a Chevrolet vehicle within the next year. And finally, this is probably the most important result we found. If you recall, it deals with campus penetration. If you recall, at the beginning of this presentation, I said what we were going to focus on was changing that 50% of Generation Y on FIU that said they had not seen the Chevrolet brand promoted on campus. If you take a look to the left, that's that really high red bar right in the middle of that screen. Happy to say post-campaign, that red bar goes all the way down, the blue bar goes all the way up to where we can change it and say almost 60% of Generation Y at FIU can say they saw the Chevrolet brand promoted on campus. As you can see, we had a very successful campaign. We, however, feel that next year, we can make this a tradition and have a more effective and dynamic campaign. We feel that if we partner with, uh, with other business organizations and expand to, eight, to, to up to eight committees, we'll have more, more manpower to make this a, a more dynamic campaign and ultimately lead Chevy to better results. Before we end off this presentation, we have one question for you. Where would, would you, you take, take your, your Chevrolet? Chevrolet? Thank you.